Hey guys, how's it going? It's Greg here from the Pixel Perspective, and today I wanted to bring you guys a video with my thoughts on the Mario Sports title that recently launched, Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. For record, I'm showing gameplay of Mario Tennis Open on the Nintendo 3DS because it's without question the better game. Now during this video, I'd like you to keep in mind that I'm a Nintendo fan through and through. However, I need to put an objective opinion out there, so that's what I'm here to do today. Mario Tennis's Wii U release looks gorgeous, but that's about it. The amount of content available in the game is staggeringly low, and there really is no excuse for that. As a result, the game feels totally uninspired when stacked up against its predecessors. First, let's talk about the lack of court variety. In Mario Tennis Ultra Smash, you're limited to literally only one standard looking stadium with texture swaps on the actual court available as different options. So, instead of the normal green, you can play on a blue court. Woohoo. I gotta say, this takes a lot of life out of something that makes the Mario Sports titles so whimsical and fun. The reason this baffles me though is that in Mario Tennis Open, which was clearly developed on a handheld system, although it's far less powerful than a home console, still had the full variety in court selection. I mean, Mushroom Valley, Wario Dunes, Peach's Palace, Bowser's Castle, Penguin Iceberg, and even a Mario Galaxy-inspired court. The details in all of these look amazing for 3DS hardware, and it really makes you wish that these could have been more fleshed out with the Wii U's visuals. Definitely a hugely missed opportunity. I mean, after all, these really are what bring the title to life. They really make the game feel Mario-esque. Speaking of which, this is Mario Tennis, not some real-life tennis simulator. Where are all the goofy minigames? To me, that Mega Ball Rally thing doesn't count, and the Knockout Mode, which is really similar to Tournament Mode, definitely doesn't count. Again, Mario Tennis on the 3DS has several really quirky minigames. Here we have new takes on the classics, like Ring Shot and Ink Showdown. Ring Shot plays essentially the same as its predecessors, and Ink Showdown the same as its N64 counterpart, Piranha Challenge. However, Galaxy Rally proves to be quite tricky having the player work with a Luma to collect launch star pieces, all the while avoiding the holes created by the disappearing green tiles. Along with those, a super original minigame titled Super Mario Tennis was added, having players hit tennis balls at a wall that scrolls through a Super Mario Bros. level. The neat part is, the tennis ball interacts with coin blocks, enemies, and even items. All of these are really great little modes that help break up the gameplay, and like the courts, are totally absent from the Wii U's entry. Along with those, the 3DS rendition even features customizable Mii characters, where you can fit your Mii in the Mushroom Kingdom's finest attire, which not only affects your stats, but makes your Mii feel all the more unique. I thought that this was an actually really nice addition, and gave the players something to collect throughout their tennis playing journey. I'm sure you already see where I'm going with this, but yup, you guessed it, that's right, the Mii's themselves aren't even included in Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. The reason I'm constantly comparing these two titles is because not only was the Nintendo 3DS's entry far more fleshed out on a less powerful system, but it also was an earlier game. Further installments in a series look to improve upon what the predecessors have done very well, not remove them outright. <laughs> it's just confusing to me, and it really is a shame because Mario Tennis's core gameplay is always very fun, and the Wii U game truly looks great. Unless this game gets the Splatoon treatment, where it receives tons of free downloadable content post-release, I don't see this game being something I come back to. It's very hard not feeling let down with this one, so let's hope the next Mario Sports title that's released isn't at all like Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. 